Boys and girls, you found yourself back in the LZ and good to see you again. First off, I want to thank all of you for the excellent success for the channel here in the last month, having over 40,000 views on our topics of criticism and engagement and how to make better a No Man's Sky game that we all love. And hello to the nearly 300 new subscribers that we have here on the channel in that time frame as well. If you're watching, welcome to the LZ. Today, I want to talk about one of the most important parts of No Man's Sky. We can celebrate planets and exploration all day long, but if we're not talking about the glue of this sci-fi space exploration game, the one driver that makes all of it so important, we might as well hang it up here. Today I want to talk about ships, and in this video I want to highlight a few topics for ships today, and have us really dig down on ships and their importance and how we can make all of these things better. The few subjects we'll be covering today is, first off, where's the potential? What's currently lacking with ships in No Man's Sky? Secondly, how do we improve those potentials? How do we really enhance our experience with ships, knowing what's currently lacking? And then last of all, how do we take ships in No Man's Sky to the next level? Stick around to the end of the video. I've got some really good ideas and of course some ideas that I've read on Reddit and Twitter from all of you that are really sounding cool. But before we get started, comment down below. How do you like ships in the game currently? How would you handle ships differently if you could? And tell me, what do you think of our ideas here in the LZ and how to improve ships in the game? But without further ado, sit back, unbutton your pants. After that big plate of spaghetti you just had, I know I did, get comfy and hear me out. So first off, I wanna go over what I think is lacking with ships currently in No Man's Sky. We've had three years to really dream up and sort of consider what's uh, sort of the areas of opportunity with ships, which I think is arguably one of the most important aspects of No Man's Sky. First area of opportunity for No Man's Sky and ships is regarding, I really honestly hate the fact that we are so at the mercy of RNG. Everything is so random and happenstance. Is that a good word? Is that the right word to use here? Happenstance? I don't I feel like I used that word before I Googled it. Anyway, finding the perfect ship for you isn't about effort and time, but rather about chance. Randomly happening upon this ship that looks cool or has the right feature set or has the right class. Unfortunately, the only real effort that you can put into finding the ship that really works for you is doing something like going on the subreddit and getting coordinates that somebody already found. But at the end of the day, trying to find the perfect ship, whether it be on a space station or a freighter at a trade station or a crash at the bottom of the ocean, I feel like everything is too far out of your control and completely a roll of the dice. Secondly, ships lack variety and individuality. It doesn't take very long until you've seen sort of every kind of layout that a ship can have. And with a large amount of those ships being those really ugly shuttles, it really diminishes your chances of finding something super cool, super useful, and with some good upgrade potential. Thirdly, No Man's Sky lacks ways to make ships truly your own. Things like color schemes, decorations, and things like that just really aren't possible in the game. This pretty much means that that random ship that you found that you thought looked pretty cool, but might have a sort of diminished feature set, and possibly not all that remarkable, is yours until you somehow find the next ship that you can either buy or exchange it for. And lastly, one of the biggest things that I think is uh, wrong in an area of opportunity for ships is that the upgrade system isn't very deep and it has a very hard limit sort of arbitrarily when it comes to ship i very i very rarely feel the depth of the impact of my upgrades that i put on it especially when i've pretty much maxed a ship out and i feel like there are limits for seemingly arbitrary reasons say for instance that i can only go a certain distance uh, for like a warp, for instance. But now that I can utilize portals and there's nothing at the center of the galaxy worth going to, why such an arbitrary limit? Upgrades really do feel like they don't have as much impact as they could, and they certainly aren't very expansive. So there's that. 
The few items that I think are really the main areas of opportunities for ship. The random nature of finding ships being the only way that you can get them, lacking variety and individuality, lacking ways to customize your own ships, and the shallow upgrade system. So that moves to the next subject, how do we improve these things? And I feel like I've got some good ways to really manage all of these. A popular request in the No Man's Sky community, just one would rectify many any of those points. Ship building and customization is a must. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that the existing way of finding random ships and purchasing them has to go away. That absolutely should stay. But being able to build and customize your own ship really provides you more agency of choice, reward, and satisfaction for the work that you're putting into the game. Things like colors, parts, accessories, and performance would really overhaul the usefulness of ships. I would absolutely love to have a ship shop where I can take a very base structure of a ship and build my own wings my own engines, investing in my own upgrades, not being hardly limited to how much storage space or upgrade capacity that I could have and have that only be limited by the time, money, and work that I can put into that ship. That kind of feature would make a ship feel truly mine, and I would feel infinitely more connected to a ship that I've built from scratch customized, made my own colors, my own wingspans, things like that, versus just randomly finding a ship somewhere. We can enhance ship personalization with a deeper and more varied upgrade system. Upgrades don't have to be limited to a random number or a random class or a random thing that they do. Those should absolutely be things. But not only should we have performance upgrades, but rather functionality upgrades is too. Things like being able to instantly warp from one planet to another without the travel time but having the cost for that be high being able to jump distances farther and farther away than we ever could being able to manage a black hole that i can jump nearly anywhere that i want to in the galaxy upgrades where i can instantly find items or find places on planets, making it harder yet easier if I wish to invest the time to add that kind of upgrade to my ship. Classes should also have more identity than fighter, explorer, etc. And ships don't necessarily have to be sort of identified by how many slots they have, which is commonly the biggest identifier. I really did like the idea of being able to have a, a ship that had a, a crash ship even that had a lot of uh, slots, but I would have to repair those slots. That was a pretty good idea, and I think we could take that further. If I want to take a ship that I really like, looks cool, does great things, I've invested a lot of time in it, I should be able to add however many slots or upgrades that I want, perhaps at a cost of more time, more grind, more money, more exploration, what have you. But right now, ships are far too limited for seemingly arbitrary reasons. So with that said, so far we've talked about a few of the opportunities with ships, some recommendations on how to improve those opportunities, but now I want to talk about a structure outside of the existing ships that I think could take ne No Man's Sky to the next level. First things first, larger personal ships with navigable interiors a la Star Citizen. Ships personally don't have to be as small as they are. That doesn't say that those ships shouldn't exist, but being able to have a larger ship that can serve as sort of a your own personal home with things like storage and uh, a save point inside or a place to rest, a place to heal or replen replenish your shields with a small interior that you can navigate. I think that would be pretty cool. And that would be a feature that would be even better served by shipbuilding. Customization options could go through the roof at that point. And I've been seeing this one a lot and I agree. Multi-member ships or multi-crew ships would be so fun to have. Just imagine, we have frigates in the game already. Imagine taking a ship that size and having four or however many of your buddies on that ship being able to use a ship like that to fly and explore, to perform tasks on. If you've ever played a game called FTL, I highly recommend it. 
It is super addictive, but something like that. Now, of course, it wouldn't have to be turn-based like FTL is, but the concept is there's a pilot and an engineer and a medic, etc. These multi-crew ships could have cooperative efforts to operate larger ships, like these frigate-sized ships that are already in the game. And these ships already have interiors to navigate with computers of their own. If you walk on an existing frigate now, you could already see that some of this work is already being done, so it seems like there would be less and less effort needed to be able to achieve this. And of course, if we really want to go deep with the ship building feature, being able to build frigates would be an insane option. Folks, that's my video on ships. Let me know what you think of our ideas. Please do comment below on what ideas you have for ships. And of course, I would like to start featuring your comments in future videos about what you have to say about No Man's Sky, the channel, or etc. Always great to have you around. I'm super hyped for Beyond, everybody. It's super around the corner. I feel it. Or I could be wrong and we have to wait until like August or something. Not that I want to, uh, you know, jinx that. But as always, good to have you, everybody. Nice to see you, and I'll see you next time here in the LZ. Good day.